Hello again my friends, Bungie has finally dropped its latest game update, an update that paves the way for the House of Wolves May 19th release date. Now the first thing you'll notice is Petra Venge's appearance in the tower, and she comes bearing bounties, which can be completed in return for Queen's Wrath reputation, and while you're completing these bounties, you'll notice some other new additions to the game, a brand new heavy pike vehicle, the Scorch Cannon, and the chance to find a treasure key. Now, in order to bag yourself a treasure key, you'll need to engage in one of the new House of Wolves public events, which take place in the Forgotten Shore and Skywatch on Earth, and the Ember Caves and the Citadel on Venus. Now, when you see the words, a pack of wolves is prowling, on the bottom left of your screen, you'll know that an event is about to kick off. You'll then need to fend off the incoming waves of enemies until every one of them is dead. Once this is done, you'll receive an ether key. The thing is, this key only lasts for 1 minute 30 seconds. You'll need to find the ether chest within this time period. Now, ether chests usually only contain rare engrams, ammo synthesis, and materials. But occasionally, if you're lucky, you'll find a treasure key. Now, as you can see, this ether chest gave me a blue engram, special ammo synthesis, and 12 spirit bloom, but no treasure key. Like I said before, you'll need to get lucky to find this item. Now, it's worth noting that you can farm these new House of Wolves events as often as you like, so keep on grinding until you find that treasure key. Simply visit the areas in which these new House of Wolves events occur, and eventually, you'll trigger one. Thankfully, these new events happen more frequently than normal public events, so you shouldn't have to wait too long. Once you have the ether, the key, scour the surrounding area for the ether chest. Now, ether chests have a tail of light emanating from them, making them a little easier to spot. I found my treasure key in this chest on Skywatch. Now, if like me, you don't have a free consumable slot available in your inventory, when you bag yourself a treasure key, you'll find it waiting for you at the postmaster. So, let's pay that bastard a visit. And here we are. Now you may very well be wondering, what exactly does a treasure key do? Well, it's used to access the Queen's Crystal Barrows beneath the Prison of Elders. But what exactly are the Crystal Barrows? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a look. Now when you complete the Prison of Elders, this hole opens up in the floor, a hole that leads to the Queen's Crystal Barrows, and it's here where you'll need your treasure key. Sadly, I'm not allowed to show you beyond this point. You'll need to discover this for yourself on May 19th. Happy treasure hunting, you beautiful bastards. Now, if you'd like to know how to find the new Heavy Pike vehicle that has a few new tricks up its sleeve, click the link in the description box below. You'll also find a Reddit link that shows you all the Ether chest locations we know about so far. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardians.